Yo, yo, what is up? So, in this tutorial, we're going to be making a simple little head bob system. So, the head bob will change depending on if you're idle, walking, or sprinting. This is the idle one. This is the walking one. And then, for sprinting, we have this. And, uh, yeah, it should be a quick and easy one. So, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our first person folder and we're going to make a new folder in uh, here called effects. So just right click, make a new uh, folder called effects. And we're going to open this guy up and we're going to make a new folder in here called uh, camera shakes because we're going to be using a camera shake to make these. So then we're going to open this guy up. We're going to right click. We're going to go to blueprint class. You're going to uh, take this all classes if you don't have that already ticked. And we're going to look for camera shake we're gonna go down here we want the legacy camera shake so just click that select we're gonna name this BP underscore idle and then we're gonna open this guy up and let's see so for oscillation duration we're gonna set this to 0.25 and we're gonna set this to a single instance down here so just compile and save that and then I'm gonna look at my notes here so we get the right values. So. Alright, so for our idle. We want to go into. Our uh, rot oscillation. We want to set the pitch. Y'all. And roll. And the pitch is going to be. 0.5. And the frequency is going to be 3.5. So set this guy to 0.5. Set the frequency to 3.5. And on the yaw, the amplitude is going to be 0.4. Frequency is going to be 2. So set this guy to 0.4. Set the frequency to 2. And let's see. On the roll, it's going to be amplitude 0.2 and frequency 1. So amplitude 0.2. Frequency 1. And that's all we got to do in here. That should be good. So just compile. Save that guy. And we're just going to duplicate this guy, and we're going to do our sprint next. So just call this BP Sprint. Oh, I made that P capital. Hold on. Going to bug me. Sprint. All right. So now in here, I'm just going to delete that guy. We don't need it. So in here, uh, we just need to change the pitch, y'all, and roll. We don't have to change anything with the uh, oscillation duration or the single instance. Uh, that'll be the same on the next one as well. So on the pitch, we want that to be to 0.18, and on the frequency, we want that to be 18, or uh, point, point 0.8 and 18. So on our pitch here, 0.8, frequency is going to be 18. On our yaw, we want to set the amplitude to 0.6 and frequency to 9. So 0.6, frequency to 9. On the amplitude... For the roll, we want that to be 0.4, frequency 7. So set this guy to 0.4. And set this guy to 7. Compile and save. And that's all we got to do in here. So close this guy down. Duplica duplicate this guy. And we're going to make our walk. So just call this BP walk. And we're going to open this guy. And I'm going to look at my next notes. And what we want in here is amplitude 0.6, frequency 0.5 or 7.5. So amplitude 0.6, frequency 7.5. That's for the pitch. And for the yaw, we want that amplitude to be 0.4, the frequency 6. So set this guy to 0.4. Set this frequency to 6. Then on the roll, we want the amplitude to be 0.4 and the frequency to be 3. 0.4, that's already fine. Set this frequency to 3. And yeah, so that should be good. Just compile and save. And now we're going to go into our first person blueprint. So just go find your character here. And I'm just going to close some of these tabs down here. And this is our crouch. We can go ahead and comment this guy. Call this crouch. Let's move this guy up here. 
All right, so we're gonna make some room up here. We're gonna be using an event tick for this. So, compile, save. We're just gonna make a uh, function over here called head bob. And in here, we want to do some things. So let me just pull that up. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to check if we're moving or not. So how we're going to do that is we're going to get our velocity and check the vector length and see if it's greater than zero. And uh, yeah, so we want to get our uh, get velocity. So just right click, search for get velocity. We're going to pull off of this guy. We want to get the vector length. And then we just want to pull off of this guy. I want to see if that's greater than zero. We're also going to check something else. So we're going to get an and boolean. And we want to see if we can jump. So just search for can jump. Plug this guy in. And then we're just going to get a branch. So press B on your keyboard and click. Plug this guy in. And plug this guy into the condition. All right, and then the next thing we will, oh yeah, we'll go ahead and do the false here. So, next thing, we're going to get to player controller, and we want to start camera shake, client start camera shake. We're just going to plug this guy into the false, so this will be for our idle. So, if we, if our vo velocity is not greater than zero, and, um can jump is uh and can jump is false then we're gonna just choose our bp idle right here and we should be able to go ahead and test well actually let's go to the event graph and let's get event tick and just plug in our head bob right here and we should be able to test this real quick so if we play you can see we're already getting that idle head bob. So, let's go ahead and do our other head bobs. So I'm just going to move this guy down a little bit. And... Next one is going to be... Uh, we're, gonna, we're just going to check if we're sprinting or not. So, we're going to grab a branch. So press B on your keyboard and click. Plug this guy into the true of this. So if we are moving... Uh, we also want to check if we are sprinting, so we're just going to grab our is sprinting boolean. And then we're just going to duplicate this player controller and uh, camera shake right here. So if we are not sprinting, then we want to get our BP walk. And if we are sprinting, we want to get our BP sprint. And that should be it. So let's check that real quick. So if we press play, we're idling. If we walk, we get the walk. And if we sprint, we get the faster sprint head bob. And um, now I know like a lot of people really, really don't like camera shake. But later on, we'll be setting up like a uh, settings menu where you can, you know, enable this or disable this. But uh, for now, if you don't want it, you can just unplug it. But uh, this is a pretty standard thing that's in a lot of horror games, so uh, I figured I'd go over it anyways. But um, yeah, like I said, it's a quick and easy one. So we'll call it here for this one. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. If you have any other videos you would like to see, also let me know those down in the comments. If you would like to support the channel, we do have memberships on the channel. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.